Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. Yesterday I did a video about, uh, I don't remember what, but I was wearing this lipstick in the video and a lot of you were complimenting me and uh, so I decided to make my top lipsticks slash lip liners for red lips. Uh, I prefer nude lips, but I have to say I'm getting into red lips again. My fiance loves red lips on me. And to be honest, I don't really usually wear uh, normal classic tube lipsticks because I feel like they bleed at some point uh, of the day in my lip lines. But uh, I use a lot of lip liners, liquid lipsticks. I'm going to show you the good ones. Most of them I liked for years, except the one I'm wearing today. I really, really like this one. Oh my god, I'm like, I don't have energy. By the way, sorry for the casual Friday look. Like, I only drink Diet Coke, like, people who drink Coca-Cola Zero, I don't understand. Okay, so, um, this is actually a favorite, like, I love it. Yesterday I wore it all day, like, literally, it's, re like, resist, how to say, kiss resistant, whatever. So, uh, this is the L'Oreal Le Chocolat in the color Tasty Ruby. And it's just a very nice, cool toned red lipstick. Usually I wear a bit lighter than that, but yeah, I really, really like this one. And uh, the it's like a uh, dries down matte. It's transfer proof. It's very good lasting power. And it makes you look like a rebel. It's one of those that is like classic rebel, like depends how you dress. But uh, I really like it with minimal makeup. I think this is the makeup look I'm gonna go for like day to day. Like no false, false eyelashes. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I have like just the corner ones. But uh, mainly, yeah. I'm a bit pale though. It's so annoying, but whatever. Okay, let's continue with the lipsticks because we're here for the lipsticks. So this is a very good one. Let me also mention that I'm an NC35. No, NC30, NC40 skin tone. Now I'm probably NC30 and in the summer I'm NC40. Maybe now NC35, not so sure. Also like, you know, I look super, super pale, but the lighting is a little bit like uh, confusing sometimes, you know? Then the other one that is in a similar formula, I'm gonna go by formula, is this one. Is the Matte Me from Sleek in the color Rioja Red. This is more of a vibrant one than the one I showed you. I like different sorts of red, but uh, yeah, I like the more the classic ones. I don't like when it's too orangey, but this one is a bit orangey, but not too much still. So this is how it looks. This one, I like the texture a little bit less than the L'Oreal one. So yeah, keep this, this in mind. And the L'Oreal one smells very, 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 very good. Like, very good. Then from L'Oreal, I have this one. This one is like a... Um, it's a liquid lipstick that's supposed to be matte, but it still has some movement to it and it doesn't bleed in my lines. So if you don't like the liquid lipsticks that dry, this one is very, very good. Like, and the color is ridiculously beautiful. It's, it's called Forgive My Sin. And this is like a true blood red color. And really, I would really, really advise this one. I think this one would suit a lot of different skin tones because it's quite like in the middle. Maybe a little bit brick. Yes, a little bit brick, tiny bit. But it's very, very beautiful. And usually when I put a red lipstick, I take this one in my bag. So if I want to touch up or my lips are too dry, I just put this on, on top of the liquid ones. But I promise you, it's crazy that it doesn't bleed in my lines. Like they all do, this one don't. Then my favorite of all time, I would say, is still Ruby Woo by MAC. It's a matte formula. It's called Ruby Woo. It's like the only thing is that uh, and by the end of the day, if you worn it all day, like your lips are dead. They're dead. Like literally they're after they have to recover for three days. This is the only problem because the color, the color is amazing. So these are the four ones and this is Ruby Woo. So yeah, I quite like this similar family. They're all reds like after all. I'm just talking more about the texture here. Uh, then I have this one that I love for years as well. It's the NYX um, Black Label Lipstick. I don't know if still, they still do them, but 
actually googled yesterday and I do actually know that they still do. Uh, so I don't know why I said I didn't, but yeah, this is more of a lighter one. Uh, it's more summery, this one. And this one doesn't bleed either. And it's more sheer too. It's here. I would really recommend it and it's in color Opium. So these were the lipsticks. This one don't bleed. If you are prone to like bleeding, bleeding. Okay, look, English is not my first language. Don't tell me that bleeding means like bleeding from the veins or like when you cut yourself. Bleeding can also mean like transfer. Huh? Correct me if I'm wrong, but what I mean is like go in your little lines that I never even knew I had, but when I wear some lipsticks, it's like goes like crazy. So if you are prone to that, Technically, you shouldn't have problems with these lipsticks. Then I have uh, four lip liners. Before, when I didn't know about these lipsticks, I was when I was doing a red lip, I was just doing the contours with a lip liner and filling my whole lip with a lip liner and the lasting power is amazing and it doesn't bleed. <laughs> so uh, this is the first one. I used this one today with the L'Oreal. I still line my lips uh, when I do red lipstick, I never go with a liquid lipstick straight away. And uh, then uh, I fill it in. Or I can just use this as the only color. So this is Rimmel Exaggerate in 024 Red Diva. Very beautiful color. I'm just going to put it here. So they go together very well. But I feel like you don't have to have the exact same color liner as the lipstick. It, it kind of like melts. And sometimes if the color is a little bit different, like if it's a little bit darker on the outer corner, I even, not the outer corner, uh, the, if the lip line is a little bit darker, I even think it's very, very nice. It gives more of a depth. So yeah. Then I have MAC Cherry. Uh, I always use this one with Ruby Woo. It's here. There are all kind of cool tones except from Rioja uh, Red from um, from Sleek. So this is the second one. It looks very very similar. Yeah, it's pretty much the same color. <laughs> so yes, go for Mac Cherry. It's very very good. Very good lasting power. Oh, this one is very good. It's called Red Rush. It's from Max Factor. I already finished a full uh, thing of this one. It was my go-to lip color when I was a little bit younger. And this is more of a vibrant, kind of like pink, orangey red. Here. Hope you see the colors cl clearly. But yeah, definitely there is a vibe going on. But this, the texture is amazing. It's like literally glides on your lips. And I think sometimes Max Factor is quite overlooked and it's not a bad brand. So yeah, a reminder here for you. <laughs> then last one, but not least, is the Sephora. Okay, I don't know if this exists anymore. I cannot even read the cut. Okay, so it's like the lip liner like that and it's called number 20. Real red, I guess, real something. Yeah, real something, I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. And I really, really like this one. This is just a true bright red. So yeah, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video about my favorite red lipsticks and lip liners. See you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I would love if you would subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video. Bye.